Welcome to Vonduul, where imagination meets reality. In this video, we explore what would happen if a massive solar storm hit Earth and turned off all technology. Let's begin. You wake to silence. No buzzing phone, no humming fridge, just eerie quiet. Outside, the streets are strangely still. Across the planet, sunlight quietly bathes cities. But something invisible has shifted overnight. High above Earth, a massive solar flare erupts from the sun's surface, unleashing a storm of charged particles towards our planet. It's happened before. In 1859, a similar event known as the Carrington Event lit up Earth's skies with strange, vibrant auroras. Back then, telegraph systems sparked and ignited. Operators stared in disbelief as devices ran without power sources. But today, humanity relies completely on electricity, networks, satellites, and devices. Our modern world is vulnerable. Satellites silently orbit, unaware of the invisible storm racing through space directly toward them. The solar storm reaches Earth. Radiation strikes first, ionizing the atmosphere, disrupting radio signals across continents. Planes suddenly lose contact with control towers. Pilots stare at blank screens, frantically checking instruments that no longer respond. GPS systems fail, leaving drivers puzzled, staring at their frozen car displays and smartphones that suddenly become useless. Millions look down at screens that flicker once, twice, and then plunge into total darkness. Power grids absorb massive electrical surges, transformers overload and explode in bright, frightening flashes. Entire cities blink out, their glittering skylines going dark block by block, plunging millions into confusion. Office buildings become tombs of silence as lights vanish. People sit stunned, unsure whether to wait or flee. At home, refrigerators, TVs, computers, everything powered by electricity, stop working immediately. Elevators halt mid-floor, trapping panicked people between stories, pounding on doors in darkness. Hospitals plunge into emergency mode, lights flickering onto backup generators that immediately strain to their limits. In intensive care units, doctors watch helplessly as critical life support equipment begins failing, one device after another. Gas pumps shut down, leaving panicked drivers stranded, holding empty nozzles and staring at darkened screens. People rush to ATMs for cash, but screens are dark, cards useless, machines unresponsive. Without electricity, water pumps fail and faucets run dry. Residents stare in disbelief at taps that offer nothing but empty pipes. Grocery stores become chaotic as frightened crowds grab canned goods and bottled water, paying with dwindling cash supplies. Night arrives, and with it, an unnatural darkness envelops cities. Street lights remain off. Anxiety grows with each passing hour. People step cautiously into darkened streets, holding flashlights, candles, and lanterns, wondering if neighbors know anything more. Police and emergency services struggle without communications. Patrol cars and ambulances drift aimlessly, unsure where to respond. Desperate crowds storm pharmacies, grabbing medicine and supplies, frantically searching shelves. Looting erupts as panic spreads. Storefront windows shatter. People grab essentials and disappear back into shadows. Families barricade themselves in homes, doors locked, windows shuttered, unsure of what threats await outside. Without fuel, generators sputter and go silent in hospitals. Emergency surgeries end abruptly, leaving patients stranded. Patients requiring refrigeration for medicines watch helplessly as precious insulin and antibiotics warm and spoil. High-rise apartment dwellers realize toilets won't flush, trash piles up quickly, and hygiene rapidly deteriorates. Without news or communication, wild rumors spread rapidly. War, EMP attack, alien invasion, no one knows for sure. By day two, cars litter roadways abandoned where fuel ran out. Roads eerily silent, highways frozen in emptiness. Starvation fears begin to surface as refrigerators and freezers warm, food spoiling rapidly. Without electricity, farmers struggle to irrigate crops or feed livestock. Farms grow eerily silent. People in cold climates realize their homes, once safe and warm, are becoming dangerous places without heat. In warmer climates, air conditioning and refrigeration fail. Dehydration sets in quickly, hospitals overwhelmed. 
city residents begin trying to flee to the countryside. Cars abandoned as they run out of gas or break down. Fuel tanks run dry everywhere, leaving stranded travelers walking empty highways seeking shelter. Starvation takes root quickly in cities with no new shipments arriving. Empty shelves and panicked crowds become common scenes. Violence flares in competition for remaining food, water, and medicine supplies, pitting neighbor against neighbor. Infectious diseases spread rapidly in crowded urban areas without proper sanitation or medical care. Medical emergencies become deadly without access to hospitals. Accidents, childbirth complications, routine illnesses turn tragic. Authorities vanish in many regions, leaving communities to govern and protect themselves. Small rural communities fare slightly better, sharing local food stores, helping neighbors plant crops. Off-grid communities remain relatively calm, relying on old tools and self-sustaining methods, largely unaffected. Remote tribes and indigenous communities adapt rapidly, living as their ancestors had without modern technology. Amish communities maintain order easily, continuing life as usual, unaffected by the collapse of digital society. Nations lose contact with far-flung military bases and embassies. Armies cut off, uncertain of orders. Governments collapse rapidly, unable to broadcast messages or coordinate resources, leaving populations abandoned. Banking systems collapse. Currency becomes meaningless without digital transactions or functional economies. Global trade stops completely. Ships sit idle in harbors, planes grounded indefinitely. Factories and manufacturing plants shut down permanently. Workers lose their livelihoods instantly. Nuclear nations panic without reliable communication. Tensions skyrocket. Potential misunderstandings become catastrophic risks. Local governments try to maintain order, often devolving into isolated fiefdoms or communities. Civil conflicts erupt as political tensions ignite into outright warfare or tearing countries apart. Refugees flee chaotic urban areas, overwhelming small towns that lack resources to help. Warlords or local leaders seize control in areas where national governments fail entirely. Borders close tightly, countries isolate, afraid of what lies beyond their boundaries. Small groups build makeshift radio stations, desperately trying to connect with distant survivors. People begin relearning old skills, hunting, farming, canning, Skills once considered outdated become crucial. Manual labor becomes essential. Blacksmithing, carpentry, sewing, crafts that keep communities alive. Communities begin using rivers and wells for manual irrigation, salvaging survival from the simplest resources. Electricians and engineers attempt to rebuild small, localized power grids from scraps and salvage parts. Inventions emerge from necessity windmills, water wheels, replacing old technology with practical solutions. Children learn skills of survival rather than digital literacy, growing up in a radically simpler, harder world. Communities band together for defense, erecting fences, training militias to protect precious resources. Neighbors share essential resources, food, medicine, water, forming tight bonds through shared hardship. Years pass, small communities successfully sustain themselves, adapting to a simpler lifestyle. Local trading posts emerge, bartering goods and skills, replacing money-based economies. Basic communication restored through primitive radio networks, connecting isolated communities again. Over decades, limited electrical infrastructure slowly rebuilt, cautiously used, never fully trusted again. Societies emerge smaller, simpler, emphasizing cooperation, community, and local sustainability. The devastating storm reshapes human values, making clear what truly matters. Food, water, shelter, community. Survivors remember the solar storm vividly, passing down warnings to future generations. Monuments and memorials built in ruined cities, reminders of the lost modern civilization. Oral traditions and handwritten records replace digital archives preserving vital human knowledge. A humbled humanity learns never to rely so heavily again on a fragile network of technology. Night skies remain dark, but clearer than ever before. Stars visible as humanity reconnects with nature. In newfound humility and strength, 
civilization rebuilds, forever changed, more resilient, and deeply aware of their vulnerability beneath a powerful sun. Thanks for watching. If you found this theory thought provoking, leave a comment below and share your thoughts. Subscribe to VanDuel for more explorations into the unknown.